My name is Lucy McRae. I'm a body architect and right now we're in a boat at Lime Wharf in London. A body architect is a speculative storyteller. I trained in classical ballet, so inherently everything starts with the body. Um, part of what I do is looking at how technology will or could transform the body in the future. The starting point of all my work is based on an emerging technology that exists. It's not science fiction, but I use the tools of science fiction and storytelling to take that existing technology into maybe a fantastical, provocative, different area. I always kind of approach quite complex scientific challenges in a playful way. One example is a swallowable perfume, which I invented which is a cosmetic pill that you digest and when you perspire the fragrance comes through the skin surface. I was looking at how in the future we'll be able to reprogram biology away from disease and ageing and smell and pheromone excretion. So I layered these different concepts and was interested in how we could genetically manipulate our body odour to create something that was biologically enhanced. Another project that I did was a short film called Make Your Maker, which started with the premise that the food and the body are inseparable. There was a woman who was mixing body parts as if she was a chef, mixing gender and identity with liquids. And it's looking at how in the future we will absorb technology from the inside out and enhance our senses by eating ourselves. For Dazeen and Mini Frontiers, I'm keen on exploring how the body now could start changing in order to withstand long periods of time and space and that's what this project is looking at, is prepping the body to go to space. This project was triggered by two conversations that I had with two independent people from NASA. One was Lynn Harper who's a space biologist at NASA Ames and the other was Alexander MacDonald, who's an economist at NASA, who talked about the importance of telling stories a hundred years from now and how storytelling propagates innovation. I met a guy who is an artist working at NASA um, in the Jet Propulsion Lab. So already artists are working with NASA missions to kind of speed up um, the way that they're evolving. I'm planning to create a cinematic experience similar to some of the films that I've made, but in this particular example you'll be able to become one of the characters in the film. I know that astronauts who come back to Earth suffer an extreme osteoporosis because there's no gravity for bones. So the idea is it's going to be a very kind of clean laboratory and you get under these kind of golden aerated cocoons and slowly the air is sucked out of these pockets and it's just hugging your body from every kind of angle. Um, and the experience for everyone is going to be completely different but in, in my experience it's a very calming, um, a calming experience. It's going to be weird. <laughs> I don't know if you want to put that on the end. <laughs>